Today I'm cloning shapes in Affinity Designer for the iPad. Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here again. Um, in my last video I uh, was using Affinity Designer for the iPad and, and at the end of it I said it kept crashing because I couldn't duplicate the shapes. Well I had this message from uh, Neely Dunn uh, in the comments section of the video saying did you try flattening the shape? And thanks for that, uh, Neely, because it made me sort of think, no, I didn't. Why didn't I try that? So I thought I'd do a quick update video just to prove that um, you can do the old design of the uh, B poster in Affinity Designer for the iPad. So what I did, I exported both the two Bs I'd drawn as PNGs, then brought them back into the image I actually um, hid the two vector bees so you don't see them and I'm working with PNGs and um, I imported them them into the largest size that I wanted so that I would still have the um, detail and definition that I wanted and then by putting two fingers on uh, the each B, I was able to then uh, drag the B and duplicate it. And by using two fingers on the iPad and um, duplicating or dragging the B, I was able to copy that over and over and over again. Uh, I, I, I have to say though, when the Bs were really small, it was dead fiddly and it kept wanting to resize instead of duplicating it. So that was an issue. Uh, it might be a good idea to sort of duplicate them from a large size and then shrink them down and move them. But it absolutely worked and it worked fine. You notice I brought in my golden mean. I've got another video talking about that. So I'll put a link in uh, the comments uh, so you can get to see that if you haven't seen it already. But I did that in Affinity Designer for the PC using the full blown app. But here we are working with the um compressed i suppose um raster images the the dot images pixel images to uh, just keep duplicating these and i'm placing them on that um golden ratio in strategic places uh but as i say there's another video all about that so it does work you can do this complete um poster in Affinity Designer for the iPad with one um, one problem. As a sign maker, I'm not a sign maker now, but I used to be, and I used to work a lot on 40-foot trailers. So this wouldn't work if you was doing a 40-foot trailer because you would have to have huge... Um, pixel images uh, so that they were sharp enough on the 40 foot trailer so I guess it might work I guess it might work uh, but you, you, I would probably be using the desktop to stick with the uh, vector images to get pin sharp uh, bees on the side of a 40 foot trailer but for Poster work, and for most jobs, you know, even for uh, a, a small van or something, if I was sign writing that, this would work perfectly well. It was only on the really, really huge stuff that um, you, you would have, you'd really still need to be using those vector image images. For the text in this poster, I had to import uh, the fonts from my PC onto the iPad, and to do that, you need to. Uh, go to the App Store and download an app. I think the app I downloaded was called um, Any Font, and it cost me uh, one ninety nine um, UK pounds. And then that in, and allowed me to install any font I want on here. So you can see, as I scroll through there, I, there's lots of fonts that aren't default to the iPad. So if you're going to do any design work, I I suggest that you do that because. Um, it just opens up so so many avenues uh, to you if you want to use text in uh, your work. So anyway, I created uh, one line of text 
for the word save and then I duplicated it and edited the uh, words in that and it's because I wanted each word to be on its own separate layer so I could change the size of each word and move them around independently. I didn't want it just to be in one line so that I could um, do something a bit more graphic and a bit more arty, I suppose, than, than just a line of text. And when I, I did that, once I'd done that, I grouped them all together once I got them where I wanted them so that I could move them around as a, a single item, as it were. So all that remains for this poster was me to switch off the golden mean uh, or golden ratio layer and change the artboard color uh, to some uh, to any color you like really I chose a nice lime green and that is it so I can categorically say you can do this whole thing now in affinity designer for the iPad and I just wanted to um do this update so uh, th uh, that you could see it was possible because I felt that I, w I hadn't really given the app uh, a fair crack. And this is an extra video because I've gone a bit crazy. I've kind of put I've put four or five videos up the, by the end of this week. I'm on a bit of a roll at the minute. I don't know if it's the hot weather or what. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, a big thumbs up as always. It's much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because i have lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye